Okay, ladies and gents. Welcome, everyone, to Razor Fist Arcade Live. Uh, I am here with uh, Taryn Gell. Hi. <laughs> and we are about to play what is, uh, without question, my favorite game in this series, Daggerfall. Ladies and gentlemen, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Alright. <sighs> we got just, just buckle in guys, there's like gonna be an hour of this. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious FMV cutscene. So how the hell are you people before we get started? Hold, 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 hold! <laughs> Prepare for a lot of halt, because I tend to play thiefy characters. I, I know you guys are shocked. But uh <laughs> No character creation? No, no, no. This is... We're actually going to go through character creation. Uh, don't worry. Um, I just wanted to make sure everything was working, so I played through a little of the game so we could balance the volume levels and so forth. <clears throat> we're going to go back and we're going to make a new character. How the fuck are you folks is... Make Tamriel great again. That is precisely the intention of this stream. Just fucking undo... Everything that Elder Scrolls Online fucked up. Yeah. Alright, so we're still... Okay, we're good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and... Uh... Well, don't... Do that. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. I, I I may or may not have killed the game. <sighs> you do that again, I'm going to have to rub your nose in it. <laughs> Let's make sure it's working. Alright. So I think we're good. Let's make sure. <clears throat> yes! Okay, we're, we're solid. So, now let's make our character. Hmm. Now, where oh where should our character hail from? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> you like See, that's thieves. the noise. That's the noise Terran Gell makes when he doesn't know. Hmm. <laughs> um, thief. You think it's creepy now? Just wait until you're backing out of the shower buck naked and he makes that noise. It's pretty creepy. Well, thieves are usually from Hammerfell, right? That's where all the thieves are, are you, and the carjackers, and the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm it, it, it's late, guys. Okay. Hey, we we want to play an RPG, not open fire on police officers. All right, so hands up, don't role play. Let's go ahead and go <laughs> with. Uh, what do we want to be? Um, <clears throat> so okay. For those who aren't apprised, because nowadays the games are so dumbed down, um, you don't really. It, they just tell you what race you want to play. So, uh, Morrowind, obviously, is where the Dark Elves are from. Black Marsh is where the Argonians are from. Elsewhere is where the Khajiit are from. And you play as a different strain of Khajiit in this game. You play as the Omsrat version of the Khajiit, which are like elves, basically, but with cattails. Uh, Valen Wood, of course, is where Wood Elves are from. Somerset Isle is where the High Elves are from. Hammerfell is where Black Dudes are from. Skyrim is uh, where Vikings are from. It's basically Norway. And High Rock is where the Bretons and, to a lesser extent, the Orcs are from. I'm seeing a lot of Dark Elf. Request for Dark Elf. Okay. So that dog outside is really annoying. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go with... Uh... That's right, you can't play as orcs in this game. That was added in Morrowind. Yes, believe it or not, Morrowind added things. Uh, <laughs> it added just two things while removing half the feature set, but... Let's go with, um... And, like, 90% of the map. Yeah, let's go with uh, Dark Elves. So Dark Elves hail from the province of Morrowind. You are part of a tall, dark-skinned people. We was... I mean, what? 
Uh, known to be extremely strong, intelligent, and quick, and they are extremely versatile in all manner of skills and well known as warriors and mages. Is your character to be a dark elf? Yes. A uh, dude or a chick? We're going with a dude. Uh, oh. oh. No pixelated boobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. There's a lot of those in this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so choose from a list of possible classes to play. Now, this is one of those cool games where you can just answer a bunch of personality questions and uh, have your class picked, basically. Morrowind, I think, was the last game in the series to do that, although it was severely streamlined. Mm. Uh, we're going to go with just picking the class. <laughs> uh, Dated Meme says, what, only two genders <laughs> what about the other 30 <laughs> I, shall... I, I would like to be referred to as Zer from now on and Jim Let's get the thief or assassin I'm thinking either thief or assassin for this playthrough I think uh... be a non-binary half bisexual circus midget yeah well, I, my character is going to identify as an attack helicopter, so... <laughs> well, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a custom class, in fact. I'll but, make an attack helicopter class. Is what I just thinking. don't name him Apache. That's racist. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> All right. And God, gods know, don't call him Blackfoot. Okay, so I'm going to go with Assassin here. Assassins are much feared and respected, for they use the knife for concealment and their cunning to strike deadly blows. Even secure locks cannot stay the assassin's blade. The most important assassin skills are critical striking, backstabbing, stealth, short blade, long blade, and blunt weapon. Do you wish your character to be an assassin? Si, sí, senor. Now you can uh, fast generate your character's background, or you can answer a bunch of questions. This is actually a, a little known fact. This is kind of cool. If you answer the questions instead of just picking, you get bonus loot. You get extra stuff. You can get, like, bonus stat buffs and so forth. I have a certain degree of training with short weapons, hand-to-hand -hand weapons. We're going to go with short blade weapons. On that one, I think either pickpocketing or backstabbing. What do you, what do you think? Ooh, lock picking. Oh, what thieving skills have you been studying the longest? You <laughs> go with backstabbing. Uh... How about uh, okay. holding up liquor store? No, I'm sorry. I'll stop. Stealing cigars. Oh, that's not fair. The dark elf was just just about to turn his life around. Ah. He was a good boy. He was going to college. <laughs> college. <laughs> I think my character portrait's going to be wearing his diploma hat. I'll have a little tassel over his face. All right, so what motivates me? Helping others. Fuck that. Uh, knowledge, fun, fame. No, I'm not Angry Joe. Riches? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, your preferred criminal method is mugging, swindling, bank robbing, smuggling, pickpocketing, or cat burglary. Uh, I, I, no, I have to stop. I'm just, just pick one, please. This hurts. <laughs> Given your choice of reward, you would most likely choose... Ah, uh, now here's where you get bonus loot. I'm going with an ebony dagger here. One of the most important survival skills you picked up was how to mend simple wounds, boss people around, fight with a knife, <laughs> ingratiate yourself, haggle with merchants. Uh, I'm going to go with fight with a knife. Better, better swimmer, sneakier, of course. Now here's here's an interesting aspect of Daggerfall that the other games don't really have. You there are different uh, strata of society in the game, and depending on your background, and it will be written out. We'll actually get to read this afterward. You'll actually have a written background once the game starts. You will be more popular with one group and less popular with another, and so forth. So like if you're really popular with the nobles, the underworld tends to hate you. Because they're all criminals, obviously. Uh, let's go with rich nobles. I'm going to be a thief who's popular with rich nobles. <laughs> My own people are going to disown me. Uh, I'll be like Ben Carson. All right. Uh, pickpocketing, dodging, backstabbing. Uh, let's go with lockpicking this time. 
As a child, your nickname was Rabbit, Quicksilver, Monkey, Guppy, Scrapper. What about Loudmouth Cunt? Where's, oh. Where's that? And let's go with that. Okay. What god, if any, do you worship? Uh, flying, spaghetti, mo no. Your frail health as a child has made you less resistant to poisons, less resistant to disease, less resistant to magic. Easily tired. Hmm. Somebody points out Trump was not on that list. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So it looks like my reputation... Wow, I'm actually unchanged with the Underworld. So I get all the benefits and none of the drawbacks here. Uh, I, scholars apparently like me. You can go with the name. Oh, God. You know what? I'm going to do a tribute to one of my favorite... Uh, my favorite novels ever which is uh, by brian shock called salamandistrum and there was this badass character who was an assassin who was like a black the whole game's like anthropomorphic animals and so forth it's a fantasy uh series but it's like animals <clears throat> and he was like a black fox whose vocal cords had been like ripped out and he had no voice but he was named Faron the poisoner <laughs> Because all he did was he specialized in poisons. Dude was badass. That's a badass book, by the way, guys. So you should totally. So I'm gonna go with Ferran because I'm I'm a darky. Well, so. that's a lot more in depth than what I would have gone with. Yeah, you you probably would have done with something having to do with butt sex and or big dick G. Dirty <laughs> dirty Sanchez. All right. What? Wh who really? Tiara. Either that or it's a Michael Flatley headband. And, you know, with these graphics, you can't really tell. I'm going to go with, wow. Jesus Christ. Fucking Tony Iommi in the future. Sure. Uh, uh, that looks almost normal. Oh, my God. Dice rolls. What are these? <clears throat> And it even makes a noise. I love that you can even save a roll. You can. Or load one. It's true. No, no, no. This is, this is a little thing called role-playing. I know it might be unfamiliar to some Witcher 3 fans, for example. I mean, what? What are you? That's not fair. You can grow a beard. That's a role-playing element, right? Um, let's go. I'm just being a dick, guys. Relax. Uh, what else is new? Let's actually up the strength a little, because assassins do actually need a little more strength than you might assume. Speed, agility. I'd like to go with intelligence, because I'm probably going to need some illusion magic. Perception, I think? I think that's for archery, mostly. Okay. Stealth. And that is one thing that I find interesting about Daggerfall. You don't... It's not a kind of game where you can customize, you know, the, the bridge of your nose or the curvature of your lips or, you know... You can't track your ancestry, you know, down to the DNA strand. But what it does provide you is you have absolute dominion over the character that you create. Your actual, the structure of who they are, where they come from, what their disciplines are, and how they interact with the world. I also would like to point out that your major skills are short and long blade. Yeah. There's also <laughs> a medium blade. Yep. Um, I, you know what? I don't recall those being in Skyrim. No, no. Or, yeah. I, I, mean, I recall that being one-handed and two-handed because apparently it's the exact same thing to be adept with a sword as it is with an axe. Completely the same thing. You don't have to modify your fighting tactics. Oh, and look at that. Axe is its own category. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Ah, it's because wielding a dagger is the same as wielding it's a, a mace. Sh it's a shame. We actually should have gone through and done, like, the build skill by skill because um, you could actually see the sheer number of skills that are in this game. So this is interesting. Uh, people, RPG codexian dipshits mainly, 
uh, shriek and whine about how level scaling in Elder Scrolls ruins the series, and it's not it's not role playing and so forth. In actuality, uh, level scaling of some degree has been in every single game, and this is the example of it in this game. Uh, if you change the reflexes, your character will level up faster or slower, or the game will, but but it will adjust the game to be more difficult or less difficult relative to that. So you kind of have to decide which side you want to err on. I'm going to go with uh, low, just for the purposes of expediency on this stream. Oh my. Y'all ready for some FMVs? 400 I years after Tiber Septon's reign, the beginning will meet the end and the bloody circle will close in the Empire of Cambriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim, the seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors <laughs> ignored. I love how the voice actor is so clearly a programmer on the game. <laughs> like it's just a dude. Well, back then they couldn't afford Patrick Stewart. <laughs> we ain't skipping the opening cutscene. This is some classic 90s FMV shit here. You can just clam the fuck up and take it, bitch. Oh, yeah. Excuse the gloom. But none may know of this meeting. Excuse the gloom, Rageaholics. The nature of my trouble is darker still. <laughs> Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend. My favorite part of this is when he says, It never arrived. But his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Uh, maybe he diddled kids. Perhaps you can find the answer. And close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his Ooh, soul. Sound familiar? Find he's me a good hair piece. He's and literally giving you side quests in the opening cinematic. <laughs> it never arrived. Yes! Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> it never arrived. If you find I sent away for Sailor Moon socks. I they never arrived. Now my champion. Rest, rest well, well this night. night. For tomorrow you sail for the kingdom. You're still in the shot. Back up a little bit. Wait, way to step on his big line there. You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall when a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature. Uh, a creature named Katrina. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water and float in on black people's bot What? To a promontory rock. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You would only just like- <laughs> Tiber Septum don't care about black people. <laughs> Sorry. You, you had only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the Emperor's Quest, 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 Quest. Are you done with the Katrina jokes? <laughs> no. Good, because that brings me relief. It brings me late relief. <laughs> But hey, some help's better than none at all, you know. That's true. Uh, do I want to use the tutorial fuck to the no, I don't. Go okay, so we are going with... Uh, I did slightly customize the controls. I have never used this game 
with mouse look enabled, believe it or not. I've always been more comfortable without it. So this is my first ever playthrough with mouse look. So if I eat shit, I'm going to go ahead and blame the controls like DSP. And uh, you can just deal with it. Oh, let's see here. What was the... Yeah. And this is the main reason why I hate it. Inventory. Now, is it true that every single Elder Scrolls, including the offshoots, the, the side games, start you off in a prison? I can't remember if Arena does or not. I can't remember. Someone would have to set me straight on that. But I have played Arena, but I just can't offhand remember. Ooh. No, fuck that. I want that ebony dagger. Yeah, so if you answer those questions, you get one of the higher level daggers right off the bat, and uh, you can fuck people's shit up. Let's go with me. Equip that amulet. There's my spell book, and that's pretty much my. Okay, so right off the bat, let's do something cool here. Um, people are telling me that Arena does start you off in a prison. Okay, so that makes sense. That's my status. Where's my actual... Whoops. How did that happen? Aha! Okay. Info mode. Interesting. So that's how you... Ah! There we go. That's what I was looking for. So this is my character. And it's got a little Michael Flatley vest on. But what's interesting about this is you can actually go through... You have a log, obviously, like all Elder Scrolls games. Or, or all of them that aren't Skyrim, because now we have flashy, glowy objectives instead of an actual written log. Um, but the history is the interesting part, because you guys watched me create this character. Well, now, based on the decisions I made while creating the character, I will have a written history. Number one, you get told all of your various advantages and weaknesses based on all of your choices. So I can't use a tower shield, I can't use a kite shield, I can't use a round shield or a buckler, I can't use plate armor, chain, and I get bonus hits to humanoid because I'm an assassin. Uh, and all that stuff is forbidden just because my class is limited to light armor. I know, this is a crazy concept, folks. If you make decisions when you're creating your character, you might not be able to do something later in the game. But... Why can't you just do everything and I know. be everything in your first playthrough? <laughs> so, this is interesting. You actually get this is the, to me it's the PS Dale has his stones. You get the actual written history of your character, which is fucking badass. And that this will be even more detailed by the way if you go through and answer the questions earlier on to determine your class because you actually have to make sort of value judgments you know you, you're presented with choices and they ask you what choice you would make in that given situation they'll actually write these down in here you know so that's really badass you grow up on the streets and urchin in your little village in the mountains of Morrowind. You do not know when you first learned to fight with a dagger or to backstab or when you decided nothing else mattered but gold. <laughs> Oy vey. You only knew that your skills and your philosophy are what kept you alive and sane during the dark years when Jagar Tharn usurped the throne of the rightful emperor. Tharn's agents even searched out your little village looking for political dissidents and other undesirables. Those they found disappeared forever. For the benefit of all, an uneasy alliance formed between you and all the other villagers who were in questionable lines of work. One night you witnessed a ragged boy being pursued by a dozen black-clad assassins of Jagar Tharn. You took a shortcut through the alleys to meet the boy, and it took little effort to convince him to run with you. The two of you stole into a concealed cellar and waited for the agents to pass. The boy was obviously not from the village, and when you asked him his name, he told you hesitantly, Cassinder. <laughs> you laughed at his royal-sounding name. Yeah, royal. And he told you, <laughs> sorry, I'm Lindsay. He told you seriously that he was the son of the rightful ruler of Tamriel and that an imposter was on the throne. At the time, you humored his boyish imagination. Now, of course, you know that he was telling the truth. You told him the best way out of the village, avoiding the areas frequented by the black-clad ones, and he told you 
that when he saw his father again, you would be properly thanked for that act of kindness. Now that of course is probably because I'm more popular with nobility. This is a way of explaining, it, the game actually goes out of its way to explain <laughs> why I'm more popular with nobility. That's fucking nuts. Some years later, your luck ran out and you were imprisoned on the charge of pickpocketing around the village. You had been in jail for several days when you received a visitor in full regalia of an imperial courier. He told you that in reward for your service to Prince Cassinder, you were granted full pardon and an ebony dagger. You were also given a simple, unpretentious letter inviting you to the imperial city for an audience with the emperor. You had your eyes set on a bigger fish pond anyhow, so you went. Again, just badass. And you have dialogue notes once we actually get into a city. Now there's a really quick, really easy way to get out of this dungeon, by the way. It's funny because it was kind of a meme back in the 90s. You know, did you make it out of Privateer's Hold? Because the first dungeon in this game, they didn't really give you any guidance at all. They just kind of dropped you in here, and then you're just expected to deal with it and find your way out. Am I recalling correctly that... The actual physical copy of the game originally came with a map to the first dungeon? Yes, it did, and it, uh, I actually have it. it on the original jewel case that comes in the CD-ROM version of the game, it, uh, ooh, what's this? Snake Venom. That'll come in handy as a poisoner. But yeah, it did. It actually, you, in order to know, like, the fastest route out of the dungeon, you actually had to have the original case. It was kind of, I don't know if it was meant as an anti-piracy measure, but it certainly worked that way. Alright, let's try and sneak here. So I know there's usually a bat around the, around the corner here. Why don't you just use the clairvoyant spell? Whoa. That'll, that'll show you the way out. It'll give you a glow trail. That's that's true. Or if this was The Witcher 3, we could just follow the dotted line over and over again until we go mad from fucking boredom. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, thank God for this dagger. I don't think I need that. Let's go with that. Gold pieces. Anything else here? Let's go ahead and give the old college try by saving. Oops, I lost mouse look. Someone asks, what do you think of the Sly Cooper series? Second. That was weird. You seen this? You did something. I did. You fucked that up, didn't you? I don't know what I did. I always knew you would. I, <laughs> I lost. I lost mouse luck. I mean, which is fine. I know how to play the game without it, but it's. All I did was save. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna... I, I mean, it's fine. You can still play the game just fine without it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Nick asks if I have accepted our Lord and Savior, and yes, I have, and his name is Trump. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it, he did. And that's God Emperor to you, sir. This is very weird. Um, I, maybe there's a button for now. People are asking, uh, telling you to press enter. Yeah, is that? It? I bet you that's it. Actually, yeah. Thank you guys. Sorry. Like I said, I normally don't play with mouse look, so I'm unfamiliar with this issue. Ah, squeaky shopping cart wheels. Okay. Uh, but back to the question. So every, everyone hand. watch, by the way, because I kind of am a... Play this game so much, basically, I found, like, the fastest possible route out of this fucking place after a while. Ooh, got some armor. I know, the armor is separated into pieces. I don't want anyone to pass out from 
overstimulation or anything, but uh, yeah, that was a thing that happened back in the day. Info. How much is that axe worth? It doesn't say what it's worth. Hmm. Steel daikatana. I miss the daikatanas. I do. I miss them having katana and daikatana and so forth. They were in oblivion. With the, with the they blades, were, they were, yeah. Which was badass, but then Skyrim had to go and remove virtually everything. Let's go with that. What class is this? A uh, plus three helmet? So going back to the question, what, what do you think of the Sly Cooper series? I haven't played much of it, but it seems pretty cool. But yeah, I, I, hey, it's a stealth series, man. I'm there. Let's get on up here. Whoa. Eat shit. All right. Just gonna open up my coffee here. That I'm totally Whoa. not gonna pour alcohol into. He's got a little Irish in him. Yeah, he was tasty. I think I already have. Uh, uh, it's late. <laughs> Elven Saber. Hey, that'll be worth some dollars. Okay, my stamina is a little low. So we're just going to rest until we're all the way back here. fastest way to get the fuck out of here. There's usually a skeleton in here. You bust his ass. Or you can just ignore him. That's it. You really don't have to fight him, but since I got this ebony dagger, it's kind of easy. What's this? Iron longbow. That will be used. When when are we getting a fleet? This this is another thing. Hold on, before you continue. This is another thing that pisses me off about later Elder Scrolls games. What the fuck did short swords ever do to Todd Howard? Like it seems like ever since he took over the series, he has been steadily like, no, get these fucking short swords out of my face. I don't want them. What the, the most common kind of sword used in any kind of military confrontation back in the day was a shorter sword because they're easier to maintain. They're quicker. It's easier to keep them sharp. You know, so fucking stupid. I do not get that. Uh, climb up. Come on. There is a climbing mode in this game as well. You can climb walls as long as your skill is high enough. You just flip the lever here, and the throne goes up. And you go up here. Kill the squeaky shopping cart wheel of a rat. should be right in here. Whoa, Imp really wants my ass. Oh. Whoa. Look out. Rat of unusual size. Yes. And, folks, we have made it out of Privateer's Hold. So remember that for future reference. It's a very quick route out of that fucking place for anyone who has ever been intimidated by it. And now, it is impossible to describe the first moment you get out of the dungeon and you're just like, all right, now what? Like, you got your log. It tells you, okay, I'm on a mission. I gotta meet with some bitch. Actually, I don't even think it tells you that. No, it doesn't. You just have to get the fuck out of the place. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, where am I supposed to go? Map doesn't really do anything. I'm like, auto map not available. So what the fuck do I do? And I start hitting buttons just randomly and boom, this pops up. And I'm like, what? what is this? this is your world map. Okay. So I, I obviously see the button for I'm at and you hit that and I, normally it flashes. Yeah, it'll flash the, the fucking thing at you. And so, you, you know, you zoom in, you, whatever. 
I didn't know. This is f just classic fucking, you know, bleeding edge open world game design back in the day. I didn't know if you clicked on these, you could fast travel, because I didn't try clicking on them. I thought it was just an overworld map. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm there, and there's a little place right under me, Gothway Garden or whatever. Uh, shit, I've got the compass. Let's just face south and start running. <laughs> so, so I start fucking running south to get to the next place, and I'm just like, wow, this is taking a while. <laughs> like, what the f <laughs> It literally, like... It took so long to get to the next place that I finally uh, just, I put like a paperweight on the, f <laughs> the forward button on my, on my keyboard and eventually uh, got there. It took forever and I was like, what is this? How is this game this big? How is this even possible? What fucking madness. And I still kind of feel that way, honestly. But yeah, then later on I accidentally found the fast travel. Actually, let's non-fast travel to the next place. It's really close uh, relative to other cities. So, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. How's a wife and kids? Ah, dead. Um, <laughs> going back to the question. You use acid to dissolve the bodies this time, or? Well, I mean... I bought the wood chipper. I might as well use it. <laughs> when are we getting a Fleetwood Mac metal uh, music yeah, mythos? That's not happening. No? <laughs> Although everyone here, I know why that question was asked. Because they're the ones who sang. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Todd Howard's theme song. Hmm. Although I prefer Doc and Don't Lie to Me. Thank you very much. I also love this. You know, you always get... Whenever you you mention Daggerfall is the best in the series or, or that you prefer... Even if you just say, I prefer Daggerfall. <laughs> there's this tendency among, like, the really hardcore Morrowind fanboys to always hit you with, Oh, I think we got there. We finally got... <laughs> right, okay. So look at that. Look how close those two places are. That still took like, I don't know, three, four, five minutes to, to walk there. And they are directly side by side. And this isn't just the plate. It's High Rock, but yeah. it's a province in High Rock. Yeah, yeah. It's most of High Rock, a big chunk of the Rothgarian Mountains. Uh, you have... Which is, I think that's where... Orsinium is, yeah. No, there, Orsinium's mostly in Hammerfell, isn't it? I thought it was uh, between High Rock and Skyrim. Orsin yeah. Orsinium area. Yeah, there, there he is. Are. There we are. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting because each of these places has a distinct aesthetic. It has different citizens. Look at this, guys. I just clicked on the Dragon Tail Mountains. There is a down and to the right button. That's how big the area is. It You can't fit it all on one screen. And every single one of those dots for people who are uninitiated into the phenomenon of Daggerfall, every single one of those dots is something you can go see and do. It is a city, it is a dungeon, it is a... They're, they're color-coded, so cities are gonna be brown and, and beige and so forth. And uh, that uh, the white ones, I think, are uh, temples. Yeah, I think they're religious temples, and the red ones are dungeons. So, all of that is something you can go do. Uh, and for all the people who kept suggesting, oh, let's go to Hammerfell for the next fucking game, it's like, what the... Dude, we did that. We did that hard in this game. Like, these are all the cities you can go to in just one province in Hammerfell. You, the whole top of Hammerfell you can go to. All the important cities. You can go to the capital of Hammerfell, Sentinel. So, it's... Uh... I honestly, I want to go to Morrowind proper, not a fucking island. Which and... you, could, you could actually do in the DLC for Morrowind and in... Um, arena. Arena, yeah, those are the area in Arena. And, uh, Argonia. Yeah. That's one we really haven't seen. 
And this is a neat little trick for those who don't know. Uh, switch to observation mode and look at every single building and it will automatically add any businesses or relevant kind of buildings or whatever to your map. They will be marked on your map from then on, on your auto map. So like now that uh, tavern, the pig and the cat is forever added to the map. Okay, people are giving me shit for calling the Black Marsh Argonia. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to explain that? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's simple. It's not called Argonia. I think Argonia is actually, it's kind of an Orsinium deal where it's a region. It's not mm. a... Uh... I always assumed that's what the Argonians called their own country. Isn't, isn't Black Marsh just what everybody else calls it? Yeah, there is. there are, there are uh, multifarious names for all the different countries, actually. Like, even Somerset Isles has a different name. I forget what it is. Is it Aladir or something like that? I, I forget what the name is. I also love how the religious temples just leave shit laying around. Like, hey, thanks for the free gold, dude. Thank you, bro. Do we want suspenders? Are we that hipster? Yes, we are. Remember to access this? Yes. Folks, every religion in Tamriel is represented in this game, every single one, and you can join the church, and they all have quests for you if you so choose to join that particular church. And in Skyrim, 90% of them are gone. <laughs> they're all gone. Yeah, they're, they're all gone in the sense that you can't join any of them. None of them have quests. None of them have quest givers. Fuck, I, I can't even think. Oh, the, What's like a temple? It, oh, no, there the, are temples. There are Debella. The, Debella. De they brought Debella back without any of the nudity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. We're going to see in a little bit. Oh, and the, it was all women. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if the temple of Debella is around here somewhere. Kinnereth. Uh, okay. Yeah, each region kind of has its own deity. So if... It seems like Daggerfall, the Daggerfall region is all Kinnereth. Um, if I click on another region, it'll be a different deity. There's the RK. Yeah, that's all RK. Who's Debella then? Xenathar. Julianos. Mara. Son of a bitch. Julianos again. And to Claire, I spent a lot of time robbing people here. And that's another cool thing about, <laughs> about this fucking game. If you piss people off so bad in one region, the law, because of the borders, because it's all kingdoms, even though they're all united under the emperor, ostensibly, the law doesn't extend beyond its borders. So if you piss everyone off and rob everyone blind in a particular municipality, all you have to do is jump the border into a neighboring kind of place and then the, the slate is blank again. <laughs> so, uh, but although if you ever come back to Daggerfall, they will burn you at the stake. Mara. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Julianos again. What the fuck? I think Wayrest is Debella. Am I crazy? No, that's Akatosh. Yeah, they every region. There we go. So in in Menevia, they worship Debella. And if I were to fast travel there right now, I could do quest upon quest. It's actually randomly generated quests, uh, but they're pretty interesting. I think if they probably had the budget that games have now, they probably could have invested even more time in the quests and made them more distinctive from place to place. So let's uh, just run off to like. Uh, Let's just go to a proper city because this is kind of a smaller the lighter that the icons are like beige if they're sort of a peach color it means it's a big city the the size is variable the darker brown the sort of uh, dots are the smaller they are so let's go somewhere 
Actually, I think, where's Daggerfall? Yeah, let's go to Daggerfall. Let's go to the capital city. And an interesting thing, you can decide to camp out in... Let's not go by ship. Let's go. Fuck. Okay, yeah, camp out. Cautiously or recklessly. If you go recklessly too much, you'll pass out from exhaustion. You might even die. And it calculates how long it'll take, and time actually moves. There's a fully functional calendar in this game that actually has holidays, and the holidays are observed in unique ways. Like, you, you can go to a temple and get free shit, or you have to, if you go near a temple, you have to give a donation or something. Which is very interesting, and something that I wish the later Elder Scrolls games had. And while, yeah, and while the game, much of the game is randomly generated, the big capital cities are not, I believe, and mo pretty much all of the quest-specific locations are not randomly generated. They are authored. So, like, the main story, the main dungeon, what is this? Red-faced courier startles you with a cry of, Letter for Faron, hey, that must be you. Here, take this, gotta go, other deliveries to be made. Okay. So let's look at our inventory. Dear Faron, I heard about your accident at sea and feared the worst. Now that I've heard you're alive and well, I would like the opportunity to meet with you and discuss our beloved Emperor's mission in the Iliac Bay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lady Magnuson, the Emperor's agent in the Court of Daggerfall. My position is not so official as an ambassador. None but other agents of the Emperor know of my true affiliation. The Iliac Bay is rife with rebels against the Imperial Throne, so your discretion is required. For the purpose of our meeting, I will take a room at an inn, the King's Badger in Vanmore. <laughs> the King has a badger? <laughs> um, for a month. After that, I will no longer be available. I will expect you as soon as possible. So, Lady Brissiana. Uh, so, I need to find the King's Badger, basically. And I can do that by speaking to some people. And here you get to see the, dis the actual dialogue system. I can ask them specifically for a location, so this will be in a tavern. King's Ferry, I'm not so sure. No, Hideus Kojimbo. Uh, this is the Actually, second game. Yes, this is the second game in the series. This was the first Elder Scrolls game to win Game of the Year, and it won a lot of Game of the Year awards. Uh, it won a, a lot of RPG of the Year as well. Sorry, friend, I can't help you there. Oh, and yes, you can t change your tone depending on which group you're speaking to. Which is something that Morrowind tried to continue but didn't really succeed. People, tell me about Lady Brizia. Lady Castle. Well, that tells me a lot, bitch. You. Who, uh, where is... I don't need to know that. Did, she said it was in Daggerfall, right? It's part of the royalty of Daggerfall. No, 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 I mean she said that she would be waiting in Daggerfall is what I'm saying. Right? Oh, no, no, it's in Vanmore. I'm a fucking asshole. And you can actually, there's so many fucking places in this game. You can actually type in the name of the city you want to go to. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go with that. Uh... Cool. I love the, you know... Primitive graphics and all, folks. 
Look at that skybox. Is that not fucking bitchin' looking? I do like the skyboxes in Daggerfall. I think someone could probably do a nice little graphical upgrade on this game and make it just look that much better. It would still look a little cartoony, but that doesn't mean it has to look bad. The Fox and Ogre. How big is this city? Is this... No. There's only like three taverns, so... Pretty much swing a dead cat. I'm gonna hit the one that I need. So, process of elimination says that's the king's badger. All these people can be talked to, all of them can be killed as well, if I feel like it. I am an assassin. I'm being told that Daggerfall, or someone is making the attempt to remake Daggerfall in Unity. I've heard this, yeah. They're, they've tried, but I've also heard... Apparently the guy working on it, he got a letter from Bethesda that, you know, yeah, it's freeware, dude, but we still own the copyright. And that would be Lady Brizienna, I would assume. So let's... Ah, oh, thank you for responding to my letter for on. I am Lady Brizienna. Let me bring you to date on affairs. The specter of King Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall Night. Yeah, thank you. The opening cinematic told me that, Jango. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word VENGEANCE! <clears throat> But that is the only coherent word I have ever heard him utter. If you are ever in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would be probably more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the Bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall may be good places to start. In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand-deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not even know the name of this courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I am leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Do not mention my name in court. It is more likely to hurt than help. Good luck and watch your back. All right. So thank you. Now she doesn't want to talk to me. Hello, Hua. And of course, inns function just like in any other RPG. You can rest there. You can rent a room. You can buy food and drink. You can ply him for information. If half oh, of the... Oh, and they give you quests. I forgot about that. Um, random people in town, a lot of whom are like shopkeeps or tavern keeps or whatever, a lot of them will just give you random quests. If half of these features <laughs> were in a modern Elder Scrolls game, my god, can you imagine? Yeah, um, what is this? General store. Yeah, you can... Let's see here. I feel like I'm beginning every single sentence with you can, but that's just this game. The feature set is so vast, it's staggering. Yeah, you can buy your own horse, which, how much gold do I have? I have 820, how much does a horse cost? Oh, a thousand. I could try and steal a horse, it rarely works. Parchment, you can steal a book. Do I have anything to sell? Go ahead and... Yeah. No! Damn it, how do you... I think you have to talk to him to sell, don't you? Yes. Yes, you do. I don't need any giant... Awesome, I have enough for a horse. Oh, and he's gonna... Here we go. 
Though you have bargained with me until the sun is low in the sky, I can sell for no less than 868 gold pieces. Yes, you haggle in this game as well. Ugh. It's just so disgusting. <laughs> it's so obnoxious how many more features this has. It's not... When I say Daggerfall is bigger, this is the problem. People always fall back on... Well, but the other games are authored. Well, first off, so is this game. And second off, it's not really about the scope. It, it, it's about the feature set. It's about how many more things you can do in this game. It's about... The, so I will go ahead and save here, and I'll just show you guys a for instance. I will just show you motherfuckers a for instance. So I'm gonna commit murder. And I'm gonna keep committing murder. Oh, do you hear it? Thought I heard it. Horse murder. <gasps> oh! There he is! I am an assassin. Oh! 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 Damn. Now I killed a cop, so they're pretty pissed. But I'm a good boy who's about to go for a cop. What? Where is. Why would you. Oh! I did do nothing! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> well, this is bad. I thought I was gonna go to prison here, because I wanted to show you guys the criminal justice system. But, apparently, I'm just gonna get away with it. In the eyes of the law of Daggerfall, you're a common citizen, and I will be until I'm caught. That's an interesting signifier, too. Your bounty doesn't go up just because you kill someone. So I'll let him capture me. Oh! Just so oh. I can show you guys. Yes. Now, here's what happened. When you're in Morrowind, or or when you're in Oblivion, or you're in Skyrim, you commit a crime, they they nail you to the wall, they go, hey, you've got to surrender or you're gonna fight. Right? They just pay did. a fine or yeah. pay with your life. Then they say pay a fine or go to prison or whatever. As long as the crime isn't too gratuitous. This game, once you're captured, if you decide to allow yourself to be captured, there ain't no fucking fine. Okay, I just want to point you out. You have to plead guilty or not guilty. And they give you the sentence at the outset based on the severity of your crimes. So you murdered multiple people. <laughs> And the, and, and the penalty is 424 gold pieces and 506 days in prison. <laughs> is this like Norway or something? <laughs> I know. Uh, well, it does, it does change. I notice it uh, seems to scale based on the size of the city, too, and the number of guards that were going after you. I only ever really had one guard against me at a time, so that's probably why... You know, if I had gone on a little more of a murdering spree. So I'm going to plead not guilty here. Now, this is not where the simulation ends, by the way. Now, I can either debate or I can lie. And this is going to factor in my speechcraft. So if my speechcraft sucks, then I'm probably going to spend time in prison. And if I spend enough time in prison, I might die. So debate or lie, you guys gotta... Debate or lie, folks. <laughs> Cast your vote now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> lie like a motherfucker. Goodness, everybody wants you to lie! I'm not sure if I should read something into this about my audience. So, lie it is, clearly, overwhelmingly. Liar! You have been found guilty! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Ferran might die in prison now after 506 days of ravenous butt sex. Thank you.
<laughs> and you actually, folks, you have to sit there and count down the days. There ain't none of this, oh, hit the sleep button, and then you just sleep through your time. No, we have to sit here and watch it count down. And in all likelihood, because it was like 500 plus days, I'm probably going to die. So we'll see. I would want this, but I would want, like, for it to stop at, like, 300 or 302 or something and, like, have a prison fight. Or, no, have, like, different things happen. Well, you know what I would like? Did you ever... I know you played Thief Deadly Shadows. Did you ever get captured in Thief Deadly Shadows? Oh, God. I think that was the one thing I forgot to do. You should have done that, because there's an extra mission in Thief Deadly Shadows. If you get captured, there's a prison break mission that you get to do. Well, looks like you're going to make it. We'll see. A young street urchin presses a letter into your hand. As you attempt to question him, it becomes obvious that he is both deaf and mute. With a wave of frustration, you send him on his way. Oh, so I did not die. All right, I think I know who this letter is from. I think it's pretty obvious. Faran, the Dark Brotherhood has been watching you. You have slain without sanction several times. You must now join us or be counted as our foe. Travel to Bergtail in Daggerfall and see Gondorian Yomsmith, who will give you further instructions. A brother. That's a lot more wordy than we know. <laughs> I have to say, I think we know is the better of the two, but they actually give you a quest, so that's pretty fun. Uh, and yes, the, Dag the Dark Brotherhood are in this game, and they are badass. And they're a lot stronger than in other games. So, yeah, it's in... Whoops. Has it caught up with me yet? Okay. Berg Tail. Okay, so Bergdale's where we need to go. <laughs> it's not far. Now I need to ask around about this dude who wants to see me. There's no reason to talk down to me like that. I can't help you anyway. So basically, I need to be blunt with the fucker. <laughs> By the cliffs of solitude, as if I knew. Ask someone else. Why would I want to help you? What do you want? <laughs> I pissed that guy off, but good. And, yeah, and people treat you worse once you're a criminal as well. By the whore, father, it's you! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> is... Okay, Bergtail Medicinal Agents is a way southwest view, so he's in a... Alchemist. And now he's marked it. If you keep asking, by the way, if you keep asking them, they eventually decide to mark it on your map. Just a little tip for all you guys. So, let's see this Bergtail Medicinal Agents. Very cool. Let's go by horse. <laughs> Where? Aha! Basically get to the edge of town and then go south. And you can get uh, a cart to go with your horse as well, which means you can store extra shit on it. And you, you travel a little slower with cart and horse. I don't know why you would ever prefer to go with a cart and horse over a horse, but whatever. Which one? This next one. Well, I was an assassin. I was bound to join the Dark Brotherhood anyways, I suppose. Oh, well, chair. Oh, oh. I didn't even do anything. What did I do? Oh, oh. Fuck oh. you. Oh. 
this lock has nothing to fear from you. Oh! What? He's resisting! He's resisting! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hands up, oh. don't loot! Oh, oh! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh. oh but it's a double decker house. I can climb oh. up here. I felt threatened. Oh, oh, oh! Nope. Fuck you. Oh. I can surrender for oh. shit. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> oh, 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 Step your game up. Oh, 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 oh shit! I thought there was a door up there. There is not a door. Oh, 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 but there might be. Oh, oh, oh. Let me climb. Oh, oh. Let me climb. Whoa. Oh, this is not oh, good. Oh. Why, why did they come after my ass? Did I? You oh, looked at them funny. Oh no! I think when you're on your horse, sometimes you can run people down and accident accidentally kill them. Maybe a horse just isn't allowed in town. No, horses are allowed in town. No, you're, you're fine with horses. Well, let's run away, go somewhere real quick. Refresh my legal status. Live in the woods. <laughs> I think I dusted them by now. Uh, yeah, let's just go to like a neighboring town or something. Fanning Bridge. Grim Hope. <laughs> You're in Vanbridge. It is 1352 on Middas, the 21st of mid-year. In the eyes of the law of Daggerfall, you are a scoundrel. <laughs> Whoopsie. In the eyes of the law, you are a dirty nerf herder. Who's scruffy looking? Alright, well that should be in... What? Enemies. Why the balls are you coming after me? This is profiling. <laughs> Cannot travel with enemies nearby, so yeah. I, I gotta dust them first. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why the enemy. I, I don't know why they're coming after me. I must have done something back there. Must have done something. They put that skooma in your pocket. <laughs> They're planning evidence! Um, what should I do? I have to get over there to talk to that dude if I want to join the Dark Brotherhood. Somebody points out maybe you were in the steel interaction when you tried to talk to someone, to no. and maybe that got them to chase you. I don't think so because I didn't see like a failed pickpocket prompt. I'm gonna try climbing up here, going in the other door if there is another door. I do, I do love the climbing mode, even though it it's one of the glitchiest functions in the game. Nope, no door. So, no, why would I, why would I have to surrender to the city guard? I didn't do anything. Fuck you. Yes, you can bash doors down in this game. Takes a while though, sometimes. Especially with a dagger. Yeah. You'll get there eventually. Well, if the guards don't get to me first. Son of a bitch! You motherless whore! 
gonna be really pissed if that's the building I need to go into and not this one. You know what? It probably is. I'm probably a retard. Oh, oh. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 No, that's oh. the right oh. one. Oh. 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 Fuck off. Sometimes when you're joining the Dark Brotherhood, they want you to actually infiltrate first. Like, you'll actually have to go into a locked building, or they'll be hiding in, like, a store that's not open or something. The fuck, man? I'm really surprised that you got such a large procession for the funeral. No! <laughs> I mean, who the hell are you that... It's like you got your own tomb. <laughs> no shit! Well, I was doing work for the Emperor, so there's that. <sighs> but either way, I think now I'm good, right? Yeah, I'm a common citizen now. I don't think- I think this is actually the safest from before the Dark Brotherhood shit. Yeah, so I'm good. Um, let's go to Daggerfall Castle and do that main quest. I'm in Vanmore, right, because I just talked with later Lady What's Her Tits. Daggerfall. And it's really cool. There's an extra little element here that we haven't encountered yet, but those gates actually close after, after like, when it's nightfall. Now I remember when I was playing and I got here at night and I was like, open the fucking gates. Yeah. I had to camp outside. No, you don't. You can either camp out or you can climb up there. You can actually sneak in if you, if you have enough stealth skill and lock picking and so forth. Just the little touches in this game. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Wow, this city's huge. Just enormous. I do have to say that. Yes, I bashed the shit out of Witcher 3 on account of it's pretty fucking overrated. But uh, I do have to say that for Witcher 3. The cities are gargantuan. You know, especially compared to, like, Skyrim, where there's, like three buildings, an entire city, and it's like the capital of Skyrim. I never looked too intensely at Skyrim, but it's like, do like five people live in, like, per house? <laughs> I mean, are they just stacked up on top of each other? Because those cities are not big enough to house as many people as they're, they're walking around. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Whereas this game, you get the sense there's fewer people than there are buildings. Oh my. I think we have encountered Castle Daggerfall. Have we? Oh! No. You've encountered yeah. a wall. Now I have. Now I have. There it is. It's actually multiple ways to get in. And then, oh shit, I got stuck in the middle. Hold! Oh, 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 oh. Am I in? Yes. Let's uh, change out of stealing mode real quick. <laughs> All are free to position his highness at this time. Do not stray from the audience chamber lest ye have royal blessing to do so. Always speak politely to the king and queen, and above all, cast no spells while within these walls. Do ye agree with these terms? Well, you actually had to type it. You actually have to type the words.
These are just your minstrels. You got your court jester here. And this is interesting because you can you can really you can get quests basically by asking about news. You can, you can ask about any faction in the game really. The Order of the Lamp, the Order of Arcay, the Benevolence of Zen, the Blades, the Dark Brotherhood, and a lot of these guilds were kind of created for this game, and they have subsisted in every single Elder Scrolls since this. And this game is just tremendously influential and so rarely acknowledged, unfortunately. Alright, so I needed to f find out some shit. Alright, bitch. So, yes, there is a level restriction on some quests. <laughs> well, that's a good one. The Order of the Border. I think, uh... <laughs> the Minutemen? I do believe, uh, maybe, uh, our own Sheriff o Arpaio should... Uh, found for, former sheriff, my friend, thanks to a, a gentleman by the name of George Soros. <laughs> Whatever. Are you Trump free for a few days to do me a little favor for run? I just need something I borrowed brought back to its owner. Nothing too strenuous, and you'll be 83 gold pieces richer. Tempting offer, eh? Mm. By the beard of Thorig! I'm not even gonna lie, I use that phrase on a daily basis. That's the spirit eye of this talisman I borrowed from my good friend Theodanak Gering. <laughs> Not Gering. Priest in the Temple of Kinnereth of, of Stockworth. It's somewhat of a rush to get it back to him. He needs it in eight days. So please do hurry. Thank you for this, Furl. Oh, this is not going to be as easy as it sounds. No! How many peasants would murder for that kind of money? Ah oh, well, your life, I suppose. And once you turn down a quest, it is gone. It's gone, daddy gone. Talk to the princess, maybe? Yeah. I'm surrounded by apathetic lazy bones by the whorefather. <laughs> okay, this if, is the if, first time I've one, heard of him. If one... Who is the whorefather? <laughs> It might be Sithis, actually. I think it's Sithis. Because they don't really mention Sithis much in this game, but he's he's called other things. Sithis, is that a Daedric Prince? or That's the guy the Dark Brotherhood worships, along with the Night Mother. Oh! Yeah. I thi again, that's just uh, speculation. But yeah, there's a number of deities that are mentioned in this game and then never mentioned again <laughs> in the Elder Scrolls series. So let's just do this little quest. Show you guys the randomized quests in this game. Bring a talisman to a priest in Stockworth. This is not going to be as easy as it sounds. Guarantee that right now. Uh, travel time three days, good, because I only have eight to accomplish the mission. Yeah, and every time you uh, fast travel or sleep, your skills level up. So if you did a lot of lock picking or whatever while you were awake, then when you sleep next, your skills will level up, and you may level up. Okay, then I need to talk to someone. Ask him about what's his ass. It'd be best if I mark the Temple of Kinnereth on your map. Thank you. Bitch didn't even need to be backhanded. Holy butts! All right. So there the fuck it is. Jesus. 
Somebody pointed out that the Whorefather is Talos? Is it? I, you know what? I'm gonna look that up. That would probably be the temple there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ma'am? <laughs> Yavol! Oh, please. Considering what this game is, that's nothing. Um, probably gonna be it. Okay, random naked chick. Random naked chicks. Let's see who that is. Alabaster Ashlesley. Sin Garrison. did I need to deliver this to? Uh, that's him. That is the gentleman. Oh good, my talisman's back. Thank you, Varon, but there seems to be something stuck in it. Oh, I see. This stone. Would you be good enough to bring this pebble over to Mobar's friend, Yasana Coppersley, over at the Coppersley residence in Grimhope? I believe she has your gold. But you better hurry. Yasana Coppersley runs out of patience if she has to wait longer than six days. What, is that just a rule? Fucking. Well, I wanted to buy some pants, but it's been over six days. Shit. Alright, Grimsley or whatever the fuck. Was it? What? What? what fuck. What's the damn. Sorry, I'm still struggling with the controls because this is not the way I normally play the game. Um... <clears throat> oh, it's the Coppersley residence. I was pro I have to... Uh... Deliver the amber to a third party in... What the fuck? They mentioned like two different places here. So I'm, I'm just gonna go with Grim Hope. Which sounds like a cheery little hamlet. Suicide Topia was a little on the nose. Alright! Whoa. What was that? And you just ask around these random sprite characters here. Fuck you. Oh, I see the Coppersley residence is an actual building in town. Again, you know, even the houses have names. It's like, what the fuck? The fuck? Even when they're, you know, a lot of them are just generated for the random quest or whatever. That's still, like, just, what the shit? Again, you know, a lot of this is randomly generated. Why are there enemies nearby? Am I about to get jumped? See, I told you this wasn't going to be as easy as it sounds. I think I'm about to get jumped. Yep. About to get got. You have no idea the sheer quantity of impulse control it's taking not to just drop that line of people right there with my ebony jagger drawn. It's role playing, folks. You gotta be the assassin.
Okay, so apparently the Whore Father is a legendary god named Shore. Okay. I think that's the person I have to... What? Here in Daggerfall, only the Thieves' Guild is allowed to smuggle. I guess Mobar thought he was above the rules. He was wrong. You're going to give me that Amber, and Mobar is going to learn not to cross the Thieves' Guild. Do it, or I'll kill you. Um... I would love to see her try. Like, what does that look like? Does her sprite actually start attacking you, or...? Uh, probably she has guards or something that are gonna come out of... Out of oh, everywhere, okay. I imagine. Or on rare occasions, they will just turn into, like, a bard, or they'll turn into a, a ranger or oh. something. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we're gonna cooperate. I don't want to piss off the Thieves' Guild. You tell everyone you know not to mess with the Thieves' Guild. Now get out of here. Okay. Oh, oh all right. Shop, not so much. Well, that fucking sucks. I basically just failed that quest. Whoops! <clears throat> what time is it? Oh shit, it is Mondo late. We've uh, been streaming for about one hour and 26 minutes. Okay. Let's, at an hour 30, we'll end it here. Hope you guys have enjoyed Daggerfall thus far. I know there's a lot of people who haven't played this game. It's really badass, and it's really free. It's super fucking free, and I want to pickpocket from this guy. So I think I'm gonna. Whoops! Don't mind me. Time to leave. Just a little, little something. What? Oh! 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 This is why you level up your lockpicking skill and your pickpocketing. Which again, what's great is even when you fail, the next time I sleep or whatever the lockpicking and pickpocketing will all be leveled up because I actually used it. This was... It's hard to explain what a revolutionary concept that was in 1996 because so many games work that way now, but the idea that instead of just, you know, crunching a bunch of numbers and rolling dice to decide how good you are at a given thing, instead of that, you just do it and then it levels up. Like, for example, one of the common fucking goofy-ass things that people do in Daggerfall is just this. Constantly jumping. Because it levels up your athletic skill just by constantly jumping. That's all you have to do. Uh, Morrowind worked the same way. So if you just <laughs> go from place to place, jumping all over the place, then you'll eventually uh, upgrade your acrobatic skill or your athletic skill. If you run everywhere, you'll upgrade your athletic skill. Uh, and it just naturally happens. Which is kind of the way it should be, honestly. That's that's how D&D &D works. When you do things, you, you actually wind up with XP that you get to put into your skills. This is just a more direct version of that. And I'm gonna pickpocket the fuck out of you. <laughs> yes! But in the end, is that really worth it? Yes. Best anything is free anything. Just ask a Bernie Sanders voter. But uh <laughs> Like when you get screwed out of the Democratic nomination for free. Oh! Halt! Let's see how many halts we can get going at once. Hold. Oh. I wanna try and break into one of these places. Oh! Does not unlock. Oh! oh.
Damn it. Yeah, my I didn't I clearly did not upgrade my lock picking nearly to, to the extent that I did pickpocketing and sneak. Well, you're not that kind of thief. Well, I'm not a, any kind of thief, actually. I'm an assassin. Exactly. <laughs> All right, fine. We're going to make our last stand against the guards, and then we're going to sign off on this stream. Where are you? What the fuck? I heard the halts. This will attract their attention. That's yeah, something to fear for my dagger. Come on. This is what you tuned in to see, folks. Yes. Pulse pounding action. But it is cool that you can actually do it. I think the dice roll for bashing in doors is like something really ridiculous that you have to hit. Hey! It does work eventually. Just have to be a stubborn prick like me. And now I can rob them blind. Ooh! The dashing suit. Got a Khajiit suit out of it. That helps your sneak, I believe. Open tunic, just in case you... Now that is a Michael Flatley shirt, actually. What is with all the Michael Flatleyness? It was 96. Riverdance was pretty big. True. Yes, sir. And a lantern for just in case it gets dark. Oh! 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 Whoa! Oh! No! No, 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 no. Unacceptable. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh! 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 Yes, you can retreat into the attic if you so wish. Oh! 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 Thank you, fine fuckers, for joining us on today's stream. I hope you enjoyed me fucking up horribly and repeatedly on this magnificent Daggerfall stream. And uh, I think with that said, having now streamed for over a half an hour, the final parting words that we will leave you with is... Ho, 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 ho